I'm Tashonda bringing you another episode of Baby News Flash. Today we have our correspondent Matt talking to you about the Graco Travel Light Crib. Here's Matt now. Thanks so much Tashonda. Next we're going to talk about some Graco pack and play kits. Since the 1950s, Graco's been really been setting the standard in a wide variety of juvenile products, and namely their portable play yards. Here we have the bassinet pack and play travel light crib. It's a bassinet with a play yard twist. What do you mean by that, you might ask? Well, it looks like a play yard, but it's portable like a bassinet. And coming in at just under 20 pounds, this is the lightest pack and play kit that Graco sells. I'm going to disassemble the product so I can show you how to put it together. Now that we've disassembled the travel light crib, I'm going to show you what it looks like straight out of the box and how to assemble it. So first you have the condensed pack and play unit, which is here surrounded by a mattress pad, the Graco travel bag, which makes traveling with the unit quite easy, and the separate bassinet portion of the bassinet pack and play, which I'll show you how to assemble in just a moment. So you're going to begin by undoing the Velcro straps on the mattress pad itself. You simply remove the mattress pad, which in this case we're working with the Marlowe color, and there are eight other colors I'll tell you about in just a moment, and you're just going to separate the legs of the unit. Upon separation, you can grab any of the walls of the unit, pull directly up, and the walls will lock into place. You're going to do that on all four sides. Now you'll notice before I lock the fourth side that the center of the crib unit is actually still elevated. You're going to spread the legs out as much as you can, and you're going to push down on that center unit, which will, in effect, lock all of the walls and the unit into place. Now you can see that the center has fallen flat to the floor, and none of the walls can be collapsed. So although the unit does feature the signature Graco push button fold, which makes it very easy to disassemble, once the bottom of the crib has been locked into place, no toddler or anyone else around the house can undo the walls of the crib, making it a safe haven for your baby, not to mention the quilted bumpers to make sure there are no bumps or bruises on your child. Next, we're going to assemble the bassinet portion. Simply take the pieces that came in the box, slide the metal tubes into the fabric on the end, and lock the metal tubes into the sides of the pack and play. They'll both fit in on the sides just like that. You'll notice that there are clips on each side which easily fit over the quilted bumpers on each side of the travel light unit. Now, you've got the bassinet casing into place, and all you need to do is add the mattress pad. The mattress pad slides into place, locked by Velcro, and you've completed the bassinet pack and play unit. You should also note that it does come with a canopy with soft toys for your child to play with. However, this is a multifunctional unit. And although the bassinet can hold a child up to 15 pounds, the actual pack and play play yard can hold children up to three feet or children that can't climb out on their own accord. To transition from the bassinet to the play yard, simply pull the mattress pad back out of the unit. Place it to the side. You're gonna undo the four clips that you put on the quilted bumpers. We're just doing the same process in reverse that we did to just set it up. And finally, you'll lift on the sides on the metal rods to pull the bassinet right out of place. Conveniently enough, the mattress pad is the same one, goes right into the bottom of the pack and play unit, slips into place with Velcro. Now the unit you're looking at here is actually the Marlowe color. And this travel light crib comes in seven other varieties. Bluegrass Barcelona, Phoebe, Berkeley, Ambrosia, Betsy, Luna, and Ally. The pack and play features four interior mesh walls, making for maximum ventilation. The final thing you should note about this unit is its size. I mentioned earlier that it comes in at just under 20 pounds. It's also 20% smaller than your average standard pack and play, meaning that it's 32 inches long, 29.3 inches high, and the best part, 22.8 inches wide. Why is that so significant, you might ask? Well, because 22.8 inches means you can easily slide this unit still fully assembled through any standard doorway, meaning you don't have to disassemble to reset up your play yard. Lastly, if you pick it up on one end, you can wheel it from room to room as you please, although I can't recommend you doing so with your child still inside the unit. For any other information you need, please visit www.gregobaby.com. My name is Matt, reporting with Baby News Flash, where we bring you baby news in a flash.